the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Want to make time to praise God for a passage of scripture found in Psalms, the 136th division, verses 16 through 22. The psalmist said, to him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which smote great kings, for his mercy endureth forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever. Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endureth forever, and gave their land for an heritage, for his mercy endureth forever, even in heritage unto Israel his servant, for his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, may you be glorified, I pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to declare to you today that God is our father. Hallelujah. And I praise God for not only is he our father, but he is our shepherd. Hallelujah. Leading his children today, just as he led Israel. And I praise God uh, that he fights for his people, removing even kings, both great and small. I praise God for he will take what the enemy stole from his people and make them give it back. Hallelujah. I praise God for allowing us to serve him, the King of kings and Lord of lords. I praise God for the divide between mankind and God was bridged by the blood of his only begotten son son Jesus so thank God and praise God today for Jesus hallelujah I praise God for his unfailing love again the psalmist declared in Psalms the 136th division verses 16 through 22 to him which led his people through the wilderness for his mercy endureth forever to him which smote great kings for his mercy endureth forever and slew famous kings for his mercy endureth forever Sihon king of the Amorites for his mercy endureth forever and Og the king of Bashan for his mercy endureth forever and gave their land for for an heritage, for his mercy endureth forever. Even an heritage unto Israel his servant, for his mercy endureth forever. Bless the name of our God and praise him, hallelujah, because his mercy endureth forever. I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of 
your sins. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.